Hello everybody on booktube, welcome to another spotlight video. This is a spotlight on another Marilyn book which I was requested to do and this book this time is Be Marilyn, A Glamorous Guide to Living Blonde by Gayling Addis. Now who look at this, it's this gorgeous shiny cover. This was published in 2000 by Gaylin Addis um, and basically uh, and Two Polar Design Source Books Inc. Um, it basically tells you how to live like a superstar. Look like Marilyn, dress like Marilyn, do your makeup like Marilyn. So there are pictures of Marilyn peppered throughout and uh, there's a mini biography. So chapter one is a chapter on matching Marilyn's magical look. That is Gaylin. Um, so basically it tells you how to put, put the makeup on, what she wore, um, how you prepare to look like Marilyn. Um, there's quotes from other impersonators as well, how Galen herself applies her makeup. That's several pages long. Hairstyle. And in, that's all in how to look like Marilyn. Now the second chapter, chapter two, is about her costumes. So captivating costumes and what she you can get to wear so you look like Marilyn or similar to Marilyn. So, I mean, you can buy dresses even today that are similar to stuff that Marilyn would wear or you can have costumes made. There are some companies that specialise in that um, including Big Beautiful Barbara Brown and I'll link them down below. Another one. Um, there you go. That's her take on the diamonds dress. So that's in the costumes. Obviously the most famous dress is the Seven Year Rich dress. Most impersonators wear that the most. But you don't have to wear that one. And you don't have to bleach your hair if you just want to copy Marilyn's style. And that's what this book tells you. Yes, she's an impersonator, so it gives you the tips on how to look like Marilyn and become an impersonator. But it also tells you if you just want to go for that glamorous 50s siren look, what sort of clothes to wear, how to do your makeup, how to do your hair. It's all in there. And then uh, chapter three is there's something about Marilyn and this is about performing as Marilyn. So there she's doing the seven year itch. Um, and that's very similar to something she wore in Jump the Blondes. Um, you know, and then it's a bit about voice and vocals and the best way of, of getting that. Poise, posture and poses. And then it's all about all sorts of Marilyn things like her marriages, what she was like in person, what she was like in private and so on. Then there's a section, chapter four is about live performances and creating your own show. Um, quite like that shot of, of her, of that one's quite good. And then she also tells some very funny stories about shows that she has done as well and some of the places she's traveled to while impersonating Marilyn. There's a load of um, press clippings that she's collected in her showreel. So she talks about marketing yourself, getting your phone done. Look, an old video cassette, that's how old this is. You don't have those anymore, they don't make them anymore. Chapter five is about those who have dared. So those in the past who have copied or impersonated Marilyn. So we've got Madonna, Mira Savino, who else we got? Melody Anderson, Ashley Judd. Then there's a famous impersonator, Susan Griffiths. There's Stephanie Anderson, Catherine Hicks, Elaine Shares, Barbara Bogar. There's one I'm leaving to last and there's a reason for that and so on. Now, and the last one is just resources, so where to find patterns. Marion fan clubs, I don't think any of these exist anymore. Sadly, there's some agencies, but they're all American ones. And then there's a section on books about Marilyn, and then there is about the author, and that's Galen when she's not doing her Marilyn. Now, 
I did leave out one person who has impersonated Marilyn because Galen Addis was consultant to Bridget Fonda when Bridget Fonda played an Ameri um, a Marilyn Monroe impersonator in the film Finding Graceland, which also starred Harvey Keitel as Elvis, allegedly. So that's Bridget Fonda as Marilyn, and to be honest, I don't think that photo does it justice because the film is highly underrated. It's a brilliant movie, and um, Bridget Fonda, she does a fantastic job, and I will see if I can find some pictures and I'll put them up here or somewhere for you to have a look. So if you can track down Finding, Ma Finding Graceland, it's a really good film regardless of the Marilyn impersonator, but Bridget Fonda does an awesome job. Absolutely brilliant voice, mannerisms of the star Marilyn Monroe as you could ever want to find. She did a fantastic job. So that is Be Marilyn, A Glamorous Glide to Living Blonde by Galen Addis. Now Galen herself seems to get around a bit these days. Uh, when I was in Cornwall last year, I think, last year, I went into a shop and found a little card which says on it, I don't know who invented pasties, but all women owe him a lot. And uh, <laughs> it's a picture of Galen Addis with a Cornish pasty um, from some of the legend of Cornwall postcard range. So I had to pick that up just because I thought it was fantastic. And as soon as I saw it, I knew it was Galen Addis. Normally you would see Susie Kennedy. She's the one they normally use on all these things, but this time it was Galen, so yay. So that's uh, Be Marilyn by Galen Addis. Um, again, I will link some information down below on the book if I can find some. Galen Addis herself, if, she, if she's still got a website going on, because that was quite a long time ago, 16 years. But um, obviously I'll find some pictures of, of Bridget Fonda as well. So that's all for this this spotlight on Marilyn book. Um, there will be another one next week, and I will hope to see you soon. Bye!